All right, what's going on? So you're having problems starting your Cub Cadet. I got 12 different things that you can check. All right, first, there's a few things right down under the seat that you can check. First thing up, this is your throttle. It does say in the manual that when you're starting this mower, you should have this in the fast position. So if you didn't have it in the fast position, try that first. This is your choke. If you're starting this engine and it's cold, you may have to pull your choke up. Maybe even just pull it up halfway if that helps. Another thing you could have done is maybe you could have flooded your engine. So if you did flood your engine, I recommend maybe getting off, let it sit for a good half an hour, and then try it again. But try it with your throttle all the way up. And maybe just pull this choke halfway and try that. And if that don't work, pull it all the way up. But if you flooded it, sometimes it helps just to let your engine sit for a good half an hour and then try it again. I shouldn't have to tell you this. Make sure you have fuel in your fuel tank. Make sure your fuel is good fuel. If your mower was sitting for a good six, seven months and you have stale fuel in here, that could be your problem. Right down here is your battery. On this black and red wire, there's a fuse right here, a 20 amp fuse. You could pull this fuse out. All right, you could check your fuse. You see that? little metal piece right here in the middle. If that little metal piece is broken, that means your fuse is bad. You should be able to go buy this fuse anywhere. Right at Walmart, you'll be able to buy these fuses back in the auto parts section. Or just go to an auto parts store, and you should be able to get this 20 amp fuse. Just pull this one out and take it there and buy a new one. All right, while we're under here, make sure your battery is connected tightly. You got your negative side, your positive side, make sure they're tight. Make sure they're not corroded. You might have to just take these off, take a little wire brush and clean these up and put them back on there. Another thing you could do, you could take a multimeter, put it on volts. Like I'm just gonna put mine on like 200 volts, the 200 V on it, and I'm gonna check my battery. Now this should read between 12.4 and like 12.6 if it's a good battery. You could also just take this battery out, maybe take it to like an auto parts store and they'd be able to check this battery for you. So put the black one on the black side, which is negative, and the red one on the red side, which is positive. There I have it, 12.4 volts. It tells me this battery should be good. All right, another thing you can check while you're under your seat is there's two little safety switches here. When you have these handles pushed over to the right, which turns your brake on, you got your handles for your left and your right hand that makes your tires spin. When you have your seat up, and you push this back and forth, it's going to engage this little safety button right here. Right down here. Watch. Why don't we do that? I'll do that one more time. If that's not engaging that button, or maybe this is unplugged, that could be your problem. You got one on both sides for your left hand. And you have one over here for this one. Now, here's another safety switch. Your mower should start without, with this one unplugged, but if that gets unplugged, you're not going to be able to turn your blades on. You also got under your seat different parts and part numbers. Another thing you can't hurt to check would be your spark plugs. We're going to have a spark plug right here, and you can unplug them. You have a spark plug there, and you'll have a spark plug over here. Make sure these are plugged in. Make sure that one's plugged in. All right, another thing you could check is your fuel filter. Right down here is your fuel filter. If you've never changed that and you have a lot of hours on your mower, this could be your problem. If you do end up changing that, it's real simple. You're just gonna take that clamp off, that clamp off, and maybe have cardboard or some paper towels down here because some of the fuel might drip out. But when you do put it back on, there is an arrow on your fuel filter. Make sure that arrow is pointing in the same direction if you put a new one on. It should be right below your fuel pump. Right up here is your fuel pump. Hopefully your fuel pump's not bad. You could also check your oil. I know some engines do have a safety function if you have low oil that it will not start. I'm not 100% sure if this one is like that. So if you do know that, put that down in my comments. But all you got to do is unscrew that. I recommend wiping this off once. Then just take the dipstick, 
slide it in there. You don't have to turn it back on and then pull it out. And there's a little line on there that says full. So if it's on that line that says full, you're good to go. And one more thing. Ran out of fuel when you were out mowing your grass and your blades were engaged. You have to disengage your blades before your mower will start back up. So if you were mowing, grass was flying out the side of your chute, and it just stopped. And then you filled your mower back up and you, your blades are still engaged. It will not start. So make sure you come in here and push your PTO button back in. That should be in, not out. Push it in it won't start. If I have it up like that, it won't start. And another thing, make sure these handles are all the way out because that's going to engage your brake. This won't start when these handles are like this. They have to be all the way out. All right, I hope one of these things helped you out and saved you a bunch of money. Like I said, if you could help me out, buy me a cup of coffee, hit that thanks button down there, or just hit that subscribe button to help support my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. God bless and have a great day.